All right, it is 601. Uh, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Marshall will not be joining us tonight. He came in with only six, so he left, and last minute something came up that Christy is not able to attend, so Nancy will be uh, in attendance tonight for us. Ready, Nancy? If I can get past. Good. I can get it turned on. Well, no. make sure it's on before we get going. <laughs> That's a good night for me. No, she's still just. Um, Can we use it it's for the fire sign. Okay. Yeah, she so, said this is. You're all dressed up. Okay, she's a good Oh, sorry. Power. Um, here. I'm not making any progress. It's oh, not even ended up as a charge. Yeah, because she checked it. It was really good with technology. <laughs> Who's really good with technology? The battery's dead, Nancy. You need batteries? No. It, it, she checked it. The battery is good. Oh, there. That lit up. We just needed you to walk over here. Thank you. I <laughs> Christy, last minute, had something come up that she could not make it. We have no minutes for this meeting. She has them with her. So at the next meeting, we'll have two sets of minutes to read over and approve or not approve. Uh, no financial report. Communications. Do you have any, Nancy? I have. As far as I know, there were no. She didn't say anything when I talked to her chat. I do have one. I can, I'll read it now. It's concerning the fire department. This is for architectural service for laundry, toilet room additions in a township garage. Remember we talked about the architect? He sent us his proposal in. I'll read it. Mr. Dean of Trustees, we propose to provide all our architectural services to required to produce a complete set of construction drawings suitable for submission in Portage County. Uh, things that we'll be responsible for, civil engineering is not included. Uh, the, for the above services, this will be for architectural fees and engineering fees, $6,150. He needs $1,000 up front and the balance due after it's approved at the building department. Can I keep that? Yeah, I, I, he sent two copies, so that one's, that one's yours, whether we approve it or not, whatever. The budget through the safer grade is 10000 That's going to eat up a whole lot of that. No, this isn't even this isn't even included in the safe event. This is an addition that we're putting on back there in the back, a laundry room and two bathrooms, and and that's so that the building is usable back there. Was that not what we had allocated that money to help with? Not to, not safer money. I didn't know we were going to build a room inside the existing building. Okay. We do, right? But we did. When we had the COVID money the last time, we did all the remodeling we could do and updates we could do. We gave the fire department sixty-two or sixty-five thousand dollars left over. Mm -hmm. That money was kind of talked about at that time, not totally allocated for it, but some of that money can be used toward the construction of this right here. Is this a competitive rate? Yes, we paid almost two thousand uh, dollars for blueprints just for the pavilion over there. Okay. With no electric and no plumbing, no anything in it. So, is this what you want to go with? Yes, I'll make a motion that we uh, hire Frank Pavlik and Architect Associates to produce the drawings for our addition at the fire station. Any comments from the fire department on that? I'll second. Roll call vote, Ed? Yes. And Tiffany? Yes. I have no additional communications. Do you have any? I do not. Let's go right to the fire department. Can I interrupt us back up for one second? What she was talking about that day room, we cannot do 
any construction for this part of the grant until we fill out some paperwork, historical stuff, and send it to you. So okay. that's the dummy we can do about those things. But we have, what, till June to do that, so we have time to get it all yeah, done, and then we just sign it. Time flies when you're having fun. So yeah. All right, so today, to date, we are at 402 calls so far this year. Um, that's all calls? That's all calls. All right. Um, the engine will be going in for yearly pump testing next week. Actually, this week. This week? This week. Okay, it's this week. Uh, the new squad's getting cot load in it on uh, November 7th. It will be lettered as well. The boat needs some work done to it, Scott. Just the impeller or the propeller? Correct. Okay. And Mark's getting the propeller for that. Um, we took it out, found out that the propeller, when there's too much weight up front, it's pulling it back out of the water and it's surging here and not, yeah. not getting the full thrust. So he's there. getting a new propeller that's doubled on the edges so it doesn't do that. I've heard that if it, too many people get up front and lifts it back up too much and the propeller doesn't stay in the water the way it should. And, you know, Trying to get across that lake in a hurry and you know, sucking on air. Yeah, you don't need that. Do we have quotes on the propeller? Are we getting bids? No, we didn't. We talked to Mark, and that was you know the only well, the other in the place over here. We just talked to him and just get it fixed and get it fixed in a hurry. It's not a lot of money, I don't think. A couple hundred dollars for a prop, isn't it? He didn't really say what it was. Did he indicate what it was? It's not a huge it's amount of money, and there's no. Shock work involved. No. It shouldn't matter putting it on, right? Yeah, it's just pull the cotter pin out a bolt and, or a nut and put it right Now we can we can check over here at this guy and see if there's I mean, if that's there's pricing, pricing we can do, we can do that. Might be good um, in good faith to get some prices. Okay. Okay. We can do that. We can do that. Uh, members, Katie Suderman and James Hobbs completed their fire school, passed their state testing, and they're ready to respond. Very good. The others in the class will take the test once they do a damn Congratulations. Very good. Thank you. And then, you know, we'll be involved with the trunk and treat. We'll have, you know, some trucks up here. During okay, you're going to have trucks and candy and stuff up here and everything. Do you have tricks or treats? <laughs> tricks. Okay. <laughs> That's all I have. And is there anything you two just want the school want to say? You want to stand up and introduce yourself and where you live and, and why you're on the department? Don't be shy. We're nice. <laughs> Uh, my name is Katie. Um, from Deerfield. <laughs> and were you happy with the schooling and everything you got? Apparently, yeah. you, it went well. You passed and everything, so that's a good thing. From what I hear, she was top of the class and everything. Yeah, she's Congratulations! Thank you. I heard she showed uh, some of them up pretty bad. That's but, correct. That's how I roll. Gear, <laughs> gear on and everything. Yes, I heard all about that. Good job. How about uh, James Hubs? From Seabury, you know, plumber, but come out here to help the township out and make as many calls as I can. And try to help out as best I can. But I appreciate you, you know, putting us on and putting us through the training. So we appreciate your time and you're willing to help. And you were a firefighter before. I had 21. And, and, had 21 years on Seabury. And, and, so. and let your accreditation drop and everything. Right. So you went follow through the school and got it back. And yep. Thank you for doing that. Well, we appreciate that. Thank very you. Much. Uh -huh. If there's anything that we can do to support you or help you, Absolutely. Um, please don't be um, afraid to reach out and speak up. All right. All right. Derek's got a couple things. All right. We'll do the hard part first. There, uh, we have iPads that uh, at the station, and we need to add a phone line to that. So once we get uh, my name on the first net account as the administrator, is that an issue with us moving forward with that so we can use that on calls? This would be through a Verizon plan or uh, what? AT &T. Okay. Because we're paying for these phones, and we're not using them. And not using them. We're not using them, but we have two already, but we just need to add a third one. Because with the new ambulance call, so, so I'll make a motion that we give uh, the fire department permission to add another phone line uh, to get these cell phones that we have on hand and not using. I will second. And then once we, I've been uh, messaging Bond back and forth because his name's on the, the account right now. Okay. Is, or is he contacting you back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's been perfectly fine with uh, communicating. So. Roll call? Roll call, though, again. Yes. 
Tiffany. Yes. All right. Uh, we have been exploring, maybe looking into the billing company, and we're going to try and set a meeting with them, and then we can reach out back and see how we make out with them. We're just in the talking stage right now. So hopefully within the next couple of months, we can talk about that and just see where we're at. Um, and then the big problem, it's not a problem, but the big thing with the SAFER grant, we're probably moving along a little bit. So here's how this is all gonna happen. Uh, for example, at McBind Repair is what we're gonna have. We're gonna take every section and put a section for that because we have to have bids. And for example, with the turnout gear, we have to have, uh, we just can't buy two sets of turnout gear for them tomorrow. We have to have in that documentation their physical forms and uh, our three bids that we get from the fire or equipment sales so with that being said, uh, the physical has to be attached to that as well, or we're not going to be getting it for half year. And we've got that all set up. What's our progress with getting everyone a physical? Uh, we're working on it. We're trying to get, uh, we're going to have to go back and get those that need it, get that all taken care of and filled out. And that's going to be in the personal file and we'll also keep that filled out. So. Did we set any deadlines to kind of get things moving with that? No, we have not. But we're going to schedule, we have actually scheduled a meeting for the 22nd as a sort of informational meeting for the fire department members, and that's going to be a topic of discussion. Okay. So, but as we move along, that's how this is all going to go. We're going to put uh, stuff on the flash drives, and we're also going to uh, scan it and send it to the fiscal officer as well, so nothing gets lost in translate, because this is a huge task, of, no matter who's doing it. It's a huge uh, task, and I'm sure we'll be on it at some point. Right? You know, so, so that's where we're at with all of this. And my only other thing that I would like to ask for, which uh, we talked briefly, and I don't have a price for it. So if you guys are okay if under a $500 allotment, if we could get a scanner to scan documents and start creating files for stuff as well. So is that something that's... And hopefully we don't need to spend up to $500. No, I don't know. Uh, I'll make a motion to fire department to purchase a scanner. I'll happily second. This is a ballpark. So, um, Roll call. Um, in? Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm channeling Christy. Help. <laughs> <laughs> then the other, other thing that we, uh, Brian brought briefly about the hose bed cover. Uh, there's, there's a tiny section of hose bed covered on the truck, and then I don't know where the actual hose bed cover is. It's not in there since we've been involved. And unfortunately, we hit a bump or whatever, and everything moves and bounces around in that truck and it catches a little bit of air. It's got to unload stuff. So that unfortunately happened at a call a couple weeks ago, and it's just not safe. We're lucky that a couple of them go through some of the windshield. So, uh, or anybody driving, because that pretty cost some expensive damage to their vehicle. But uh, luckily, I think a sheriff's officer, I have no idea who it was, I was told to stop and kick it off the side of the road for us. Which yeah, of course, kind of deputy, I heard did that. And, uh, consider it for themselves. And notified you guys that it was? Yeah, because I saw it once I got up to the car crash. So. Where do we get that cover? Is that something that has to be made like the Merlin boat covers or someone who does canvas work or something? I, or can you buy it? I don't know. Mountain Tarp in Edinburgh is currently getting us, you know, prints and making one, you know, the design for it. I'll make a motion that whenever they get those, so we don't have to wait for another meeting, I'll make a motion that we purchase that. Yeah, That's pretty, it, it, it's pretty important we have to have so that we can't, we, we can't. can't have things falling off the truck. So, so I'll make that motion when Mom and Tart comes up with the price and everything, unless it's astronomical that you guys think it's totally out, yeah. out of reason, and then no more revisit, but I'll make that motion. Yeah, I took the truck up on Friday, last Friday, and they measured everything out. Do you have a ballpark that I won't hold you to? No, ma'am. Okay. No, they didn't give me anything. They just took the measurements and said no upon contact us. I'll second, unless you so. Unfortunately, I don't. <laughs> yes. I think Scott, you know, Chief does. Yes. You yeah. so? Can, can I ask what, what this covers for? I can't hear it. It's a, it's a canvas or tarp cover. They, the hoses get folded up a certain way and put it on top of the fire apparatus. 
as they're going down the road, the wind was getting it or hit a bump, it was bounced off and coming off. There's supposed to be a, a cover over that. There's snaps on the unit already. It's a snap already. on cover to keep the hose from falling off the truck while yeah, the that, Yeah, that's what that's for. Plus okay. it protects it from the weather and stuff. Yeah, yeah, sun and all that stuff. So. And then, I think that's all I have. Does anybody have any questions? <coughs> Thoughts or anything safe to bring here? Just that the background checks and physicals are moving along. I like to hear that because we spent a, spent a long time oh, setting absolutely. it up, so I just want to make sure it's going smoothly. Once you get started, it should go pretty quick. Everybody should be able to yeah, should be in the process. We've got two so far ago. Uh, I don't know if there's Everything started. went well. They knew what you were talking about. They, they were. Well, he went first. The yeah. lady's like, I already had somebody from Deerfield today. Because they didn't have us in the computer. Your yeah. food wasn't in there. Yeah, they assured me that it was, so, um, yeah. but if they were able to do it and get yeah, it. Yeah, I did it all while I was there. So. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. Any other questions for the fire department? I have a um, topic about the fire department I wanted to bring up. Um, at our last meeting, Chuck Little retired, and he served on our department for over 50 years, and I think we need to do something to celebrate his service. Absolutely. Absolutely. Does anyone have any ideas or suggestions? At the last association meeting, they were looking at some dates. Okay. And Virginia, did he set a date? Uh, yes, I with him traveling as much. Yeah. He will be back next week for a while. You're asking a lot of the short time. I'm not saying we do it in a week. Um, it will take more time to plan that. Um, I was wondering if anyone wanted to be on a committee or something to help work on a party for him or is the town, does the um, town, the Deerfield Fire Association want to handle that? I think it would be really appropriate for the township to have a budget to help celebrate Chalk and do something nice for him as well. Sure. I don't know if we want to do that in cahoots, if we want to do something separate. Do you have any ideas, Dan? Uh, I think the association committed to an amount maybe, but okay. um, I mean, over 50 years, I think it would, it would not hurt for the township to get in some yeah. by our birth. Oh, not at all. I asked Mrs. Little if Chuck would show up and appreciate something like that because before he told me, don't you ever dare do something, and she assured me that he would participate. So, um, well, where do you want to do it at? At the station? You want to do it here? <laughs> kind of, if you're going to do it here, you kind of got to get Maybe a date they, and check with <laughs> Nancy to make sure it's open, getting toward the end of the year. A lot of holiday party stuff, so kind of come up with a date and so this place is open. And maybe we could just do a donation towards a gift or commemoration or towards the funds. Um, could you possibly bring some ideas and my, like ideas for dates or something to our next meeting? Would that be possible? Do we have another meeting? Not till the next month. Yeah, you'll have your first meeting next month. I mean, I don't think it's unreasonable to even do it after the first of the year, so we have time to do something nice, but I definitely think we should pick a date and try to plan. Sure. So um, maybe after your next meeting, bring some possible, would you like to have a few? I mean, I can't speak for the association, but okay. I don't see why it's happening. I'll bring it up next meeting. And I'd be happy to participate and help in any way. I just didn't know, uh, we need to do something. <coughs> So we're going to revisit it next meeting rather than... Well, maybe not next meeting because they're not having a meeting until um, oh, okay. after our next meeting. So maybe two meetings. Okay. That's yeah. right. In the next one, we should have answers. All right. Into November. Yeah, yeah whatever the township can do to help, I'm sure, we'll, I'm sure we'll step up and do whatever we need to do to help. That's not going to be an issue at all. I heard there might be problems at the fire station not being stocked with paper towel and toilet papers without chucks. So I hope somebody learned where the stash is or you guys are going to have more problems than um, you had before. Check the ABM right now on where to get it all. Here's the boys in the township garage. Exactly what he told me. What did he tell you? Come down here and check the boys in the township garage. They'll get us everything we need. Oh. Okay. I can't tell you how many times I've come here and seen Chuck with toilet paper oh, yeah. and paper towels. Yep. He was on a mission. <laughs> Well, it's very rare to have a milestone as many years as he absolutely has been even across the whole state. So. We'll table that and get back to it. That's all I have on the fire department. Any other questions? 
All right, let's go to the road department. We've got a nice week coming up. The guys, uh, we borrowed Edinburgh's hot box, which keeps the asphalt hot when you go get into the plant. We borrowed it. We're going to have it the rest of this week. They're going to start tomorrow, the new guy and buddy. And possibly Gary, we see how many we need to do that though. They're going to go get a load of asphalt first thing in the morning, start patching holes. And I think at least three days in a row, or maybe four days, we're going to be patching holes as long as the weather holds out. And Edinburgh allows us to use their unit down there. So uh, we have a grant called the Moore Grant that we kind of briefly talked about last time buy safety equipment at, at, at uh, Otarmer gives $500 a year to all the people that they're insured under and everything. So I asked uh, employees what they would like to have. We talked about, her and I talked about buying winter coats for them, winter gloves, whatever we can do. We can buy signs, we can buy anything. So, so anyway, I asked them and they all came up with, they would like Headphone, uh, headsets, ear protectors when they mow. Because they're in those mowers hours and hours and hours of the day. And we provide ear plugs, but not those things. They each, they each bring their own in. I don't think it's unreasonable that we would buy those. They want a couple pair of heavy leather gloves for when they're welding or when they're cutting or when they're using a saw or something like that. All good stuff. Uh, a couple clear anti fog clear face shields. They want a box of safety glasses. They want a box of earplugs, just a litany of things. So we can spend up to $500, and we have spent $500 before plus in the township. If it comes to 550 bucks, we put the rest of the money with it to complete an order. So if you're okay with that, I'm gonna... Uh, I would make a motion that the um, employees of the garage can buy up to $500 for the, for the Otago grant for goggles, gloves, masks, any safety items that they see to think they need. I would make a motion for that. And I'll second that motion. Roll call vote, Ed? Yes. Tiffany? Yes. They know what they need more than yeah. they do. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then we're going to get some winter gloves, uh, and there'll be high visibility gloves when they're out and everything. There'll be high visibility gloves. They had a whole list of stuff they were looking into, so all good stuff as far as I can tell. Shopping day, they'll have a good time. Yeah, probably order it all off of Amazon and have it delivered right here. That's the best prices we're finding is Amazon. We have a tax-free yeah. account, so it's yeah. perfectly fine. All right. Uh, that's about all I have in our road department. Buildings and grounds. We recently uh, had our Apple Butter Festival on Buildings and Grounds. Uh, uh, Civics donated a pavilion to us. We were able to use that pavilion a little bit. Uh, tomorrow that pavilion will be finished. The ceiling didn't get put into it before the Apple Butter Festival. It just got too, too time. Just couldn't get it all done before that. So they're coming back tomorrow and put the ceiling in it. Uh, it'll be white steel. Uh, then we have to get some uh, handicap parking set up. We have to buy our fire extinguisher and a glass case for it. And we'll be good to go moving forward with using that. We have handicap signs, but that has to be blacktop. It has to be hard, hard surface of some type of pavement or asphalt or something hard surface. And it has to meet a certain elevation, all that, which were included in the blueprints when we got them. So we just have to get that part done right there. We have the signs, but not that. Uh, a lot of mowing leaves are coming down wholesale now. So when they're not out patching roads, uh, they will be mowing not so much grass on the board, but leaves in the cemeteries, leaves at the circle, everywhere around here. Uh, our grasshopper mower is down on for is now under an emergency. It quit running, it wouldn't start. We couldn't figure it out. So I'll make a motion that we pay for the repairs on the grasshopper mower when we get it back. They, you know, it's something about the charging system. Gonna need a new coil or something there. They just started looking at it Friday, so I don't have a price yet. Hopefully that's something they can fix in-house. This is something they couldn't fix in-house. They didn't have the test equipment to do it. Okay. Yeah, so we had to take it down. So normally we fixed everything down there, but we couldn't, couldn't, we didn't have test equipment to find out what it was. So Where did we send it? Uncle for equipment down in Minerva down there. We've got an account down there and they've done work for us before. So. Okay. So I'll make a motion that when we do get that bill, we pay for it. So we, because we need that. I'll second. Roll call vote, Ed? Yes. And Tiffany? Yes. And our skag mower that they use every single day, all three bearings in the spindles are bad. We do have spindles ordered. They're ordered from Hilltop. 
uh, down by Columbiana down there. Now that work is being done in house, but the parts will have to pay for the parts. I don't anticipate any being over $500, but you never know what parts cost that much. So I'll make a motion that we pay for the parts for the skeg motor whenever we get the bill for it. That work, that work will be done in house, and it's all torn apart, ready to put back together once they get the parts. Up to seven fifty. Yeah. All second. Roll call vote, Ed. Yes. Tiffany. Yes. And what is this? Billings and Grounds. I don't have anything else in Billings and Grounds. A couple announcements. We have our trunk retreat here can Saturday. We, can we go back? Sure, to absolutely. And grounds? Sorry. No, that's okay. Um, we are on a tight deadline to finish using our money from NOPEC for um, the grant that we had. And what have we what have we used with that so far? What, what progress have we had with our dating lighting? All the all the lights other than these in the town hall have been changed to drop in LED units, which they were fluorescent before. Those have all been done. All the old eight foot fluorescent lights were taken out of the garage down there, and all 10 foot LED strips put in down there. Wow, those see the two really bright light bulbs right there? Mm -hmm. We, that, I was going to turn that in under no pet. We have to pick out what we want for a bulb right there for all these lights right here. And then that would be turned in under no pet. I know the lights flash and everything. So we're going to have some money in those bulbs. They're pretty expensive bulbs. And we've got to put the new switches over here. So uh, we're about $7,000 out of the 10 or 11 we had to pay spent now. Somewhere in that area, I'd have to look and see. So we do have more more project to do. I did get. A, I'm, I'm getting a price for putting. See how dark it is everywhere around here. I'm, I was getting a price for putting some kind of lighting back here. We get a lot of complaints of lighting and such and stuff that is so dark up here in the kitchen area and stuff. So I do have a, a price coming in on that. I don't have it yet that I was going to bring up at the next meeting. I was trying to update myself about what we were doing with the NOPEC award, and I went back and looked at our meeting when we discussed it last, which was, well, when we first discussed it, which is in July. We actually made a motion to use the NOPEC funds to replace the light fixtures at the garage, the old town hall, add LED to the circle, and with whatever was left to use here in the new town hall. Um, I think we've gotten a little bit off track with that. I was looking at the actual NOPEC award, and as of October 1st, 2023, total, we have $26,874.47 allotted to us to use. Um, this is from the letter they sent us in the beginning of the year. Um, these became available October 1st, so the $11,650, I'm sorry, $656.47 has, has to be used, be used. by November 30th. Right. But we do have these other available funds, and we haven't done what we said with the old town hall. Um, I got a quote to get a tongue and groove ceiling with the old town hall, which the beauty of that is it's time, it looks appropriate for the time, and also it will shift and move with that building shifting and moving because it's a very old building. Um, to do the inside ceiling and light fixtures, secure ceiling and tongue and groove ceiling, install high efficiency light, six lights and two fans the quote was eleven thousand eight hundred dollars that has to be completed paid and billed by november 30th i did get a little bit of reprieve on that as long as it she will work with us as long as the work is scheduled even though it's not done and paid for she, she will want her she told me but um, but I, you're but you're right it's, it, we have to do it needs to be this. done i spoke with um Plotnik Construction, who gave us the quote, I use them, they're wonderful people. He said he could get it done before November 30th if we give them a heads up as soon as possible. So um, with this, the, the deadline to use the additional money, I wanted to move forward and do something about that. Because if not, we're going to lose out on about $4,000. Man, we won't lose it, but you're right, we've got to use it. We won't lose it, though. We'll get it done. Uh, do you, I would like to make a motion to hire Plotnik Construction at a price of $11,800 to remodel the ceiling and put in energy efficient lights and fans. Does that include any engineering or blueprints or anything we need or electrical permits or anything? No, not to my knowledge. This See. was the quote for the work. So, what are we going to get into for electrical permits and stuff? That I honestly I, I don't, don't know. know. If we, I don't know if we have to have. I don't know. 
I'm just bringing it up in case it is. So. That's not something I'm aware of, to be honest with you. I would, who do we call? We call the um, Portage County office to see what building, we need to do. Building, Portage County Building Department would be the ones who would have to do that. Okay. I don't anticipate it, but you, you just don't know. I don't know. You know. The Portage County? Okay. Um, so I would, I would. A little history on that though. We did have someone hired to do that for $5,800. Okay. And two days before they were supposed to do it, for whatever reason, they called on that and said, screw it, we're not doing it. Blah, blah, blah. If you so, have other quotes or other ideas, I'm definitely open to them. The only other thing I can say is I could call that guy and ask him if he'd reconsider and we could use him then. If not, the history didn't work out very well for no. a time sensitive matter, so no. I, I don't know if I'm on board with that plan. Um, it doesn't have to be this guy, but we need to do something and we're in a crunch. Um, in, I, I would like to get it done. I'm, I'm okay getting it done. Okay, so um, I will make a motion that we hire plot new construction for $11,800 to do the work pending. Um, Should we get a couple other quotes though, since that's a lot of money, that's almost 12 grand. Should we get another quote? Can we do it before? Um, it's a big job. There's a lot of work, and they have to bring There's in a lot of things to protect the floor. Um, they also have to work with the shifting of the building and all of that. Oh, I, absolutely. Um, so, I, I mean, we can table it if you want to, but we're quickly running out of time, and he's not going to have it done um, by our deadline if we delay much longer. Is he going to say how long it's going to take him to do it? He said he would have it done before November, th the end of November. So, um, up to you, but we need to do something. I don't want to pressure you, but we're running out of time. No, I no, I understand. I can give you a copy and answer. There are other things on this quote but that's for the ceiling. Okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'll, I'll second your motion to do that, provided that we. Oh, here I gave you a copy before, but I made extra. Yeah, I, yeah, I saw that. If you I need another to copy. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll second your motion when we do that. We do have to get that work done. We do need to spend that money. Um, I will call. And that's still going to leave us money left over. It's going to leave us a lot of money left over for, to do some positive things, too, because I hate when but we But we didn't really get off track. You, you mentioned we got off track. We got all the lighting down here and all the lighting down in the garage. So we didn't really get off track too much. <laughs> well, the it only was thing just our, the our, sequence our, of. Our, our contractor backed out on that one. But we did get a lot of work done already that we were supposed to. Well, who's been, re are we doing that in-house, replacing these lights? The bulbs here, the bulb, bulbs here will be done in-house. Did we, we hire we, someone to do electrical work to get that done? No, we can, all we can do is buy the bulbs and put them in. No, the work that we've already done. Yeah, we did. Okay. Um, yeah, we did. Who did we hire? Do you remember what his name is? Brian. Brian or something. Uh, Edwards. Brian okay. I'm, I stopped in at the garage and I met Mr. Edwards and he said we'd hired him to do electrical work and I was going through the minutes and I just didn't see where we had ever discussed doing that. I thought well, that was, we were going to hire someone to get the electrical done and, and we did it, so. Yeah, we talked about what we were going to do, but we never, um, the board never approved hiring any individual to do that. We should clean that up. And I won't, I'll make a motion then that we pay Brian Edwards Electrical for the work they've done uh, to the township, the town hall, and the garage under the NOPEC grant. And that was the $7,800 that included the labor and the lights. That labor we and lights here and labor and lights down there. And it wasn't that much. I'm trying to think what it was. But it was I, I understand there's. Yeah. yeah. Is that about what, that, what it was? So check here. All right. Um, yeah, just, we, we never discussed it. I'll second that. Okay. I need to go back and get a roll call on hiring. Any models? Uh, and your vote? Yes. And Tiffany? Yes. Okay. And we'll roll call vote on Brian Edwards. Brian Edwards. Yes. Tiffany? Yes. Oh, sorry. Uh, and yes. And. Um, back to buildings and grounds. Our original plan when we emptied that old town hall was to have Gary Lightfight, who was capable of fixing the foundation, do so. Um, I understand he's doing, what, about 20 hours for us every two weeks? Yeah, about Ideally, 20, 22. 
ideally I'd love to get that done in house and, and not outsource that. Is Mr. Lightfoot, I know you said you were going to speak to him about that. Is that something he's capable and available to do for us? I don't think he wants to because he's going to go to another full time job and he doesn't want to commit to something and not be able to get it done. But I can ask him for a firm answer. Okay. When I, I, when I did talk to him after you and I talked about it, it's kind of what he said. That's something you need to do correctly. You need steel beams and equipment and all that stuff. It gets very time consuming and very labor intensive and expensive is what he said. And maybe we could also speak to Roger to see if he has any <coughs> comfort level in doing such a project sure. before we outsource that. Um, but ideally it'd be nice to do that while the building is empty. It would be perfect were, to do that. Yes, I just don't want that to fall through the cracks. All Gary was going to do is get the corners jacked up and secured because they keep sagging. Right. Rather than put a whole new foundation under, that's what he—that was going to be his involvement. So. Okay. Um, could you maybe bring us back some information next meeting? Sure, yeah. absolutely. That'd be great. Thank you. Um, any updates on Mr. Suderman? He went to the doctor today. He has another doctor's appointment in two weeks. He hired a lawyer. Uh, According to him, the doctor he's been going to is a physician's assistant or whatever. Workman's comp will not accept their signature name and paperwork. That's the last I heard from him today. So he's in the process of trying to find a doctor that workman's comp will accept. That's, that's, yep, that's. And every doctor that he has called, they won't yep. do worker's comp yep. for it and things like that. I'm his wife, if you didn't I, know. I know. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we sure met him hot. <laughs> um, Not some random chick that knows his. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I, I put two and two together. Um, you know, uh, with my medical background, typically doctors and urgent cares and ERs will do those types of things, but, um, or a primary care will typically do that too. I don't know if that's helpful to you at all. Well, they want him to see pain management or an orthopedic but workers' comp keeps denying it. It's because of what she's writing. She's not putting in the correct codes right. and all that stuff, so that's why they're denying it. Is he feeling better? His well, shoulder is still... I'll let him speak first. I'm going to send him my best wishes. I hope he's well and comes back because we need him. I need him to come back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um... Very good. And any updates on the gazebo? Because yes. that hurts my eyes every time. Yes, the gentleman called today and one wants to <coughs> talk with me in the next day or two to see where we're at in that. Uh, the engineer that I said we, we, we approved hiring to do that down there, he called and asked for more pictures. He will have us report to give the voting department by our next meeting here. Okay. And the original it was everybody said we have to tear it down and start all over. Which we don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. The first price I got for going out was in the 60000 range. The insurance company wanted to pay us 32000 So we're $30,000 difference right off the bat. So a couple of people came and looked at it and said, well, we can give you a price of repairing it, but we won't give you a price until we have engineering prints to see what we have to do. Because it wouldn't be right to give you a price with us not knowing exactly what you have to do. So I got at least two people that as soon as we get those engineered prints, if they accept them at the county to repair it, I got two people that'll give us a price, local people that'll give us a price immediately. So we're not necessarily waiting for the county to approve them, we're waiting to get the prints to send to the county. Yeah. I yeah. understand that. The county's position right now is that it needs to come down and start all over. Is there so a this is what I'm trying to counteract that to prove them it can be fixed. Is there anything I can do to help you with any of that? Because I'd love to. If yeah, I, I can give you the engineer's phone number. I, mean, I, I don't want to step on your toes. No, no. If there's anything I can do to help, I'd gladly do so. I'm in regular communication with him, and he asked for more pictures, which I have. And, okay. And so that's really where we're at in that. I want it to be pretty for Christmas. I'd like it to be. Um, very good. That's all I have for business. Our buildings and grounds, unless anyone else has anything. Anybody else got anything? I really don't have anything else for the meeting, though, unless someone has any questions or anything. I have one more issue that doesn't have to do with okay. buildings and grounds. Um, at our last meeting, or the meeting before, forgive me if I'm misspeaking, we voted to have two meetings a month up until December. In December, we have to have our year-end closing meeting. I wanted to propose a date and time that I thought you would agree with, that way we can get that on the books. Um, December 27th, 
It is the last Wednesday of the month. And you, you and Christy are already here. And that gives you a few days to finish wrapping everything up so you're not doing that on yours. Yeah. With that, the 27th. 27. And we fine. can just do that as our second meeting and have the extra meeting for closing the year. I'm, good. I'm good with so that. So December 27th at 6 p.m. And this will be a combined regular meeting and end of and year end. Do we need to, to meet sooner or add more time for that? Because that's a very quick meeting. Last year I was unprepared for this meeting, so I wanted to be prepared this year. Now that I know it exists. Okay, yeah, there's the year end meeting is not a big long meeting. No, I was yes, just no. make motions to close out some things and, and do that. It's yeah. really just for Since mountain. we were having and two meetings give, a month. It gives yeah. us a couple days mm -hmm. to get the uh, checks written that we need. My other work schedule is very specific, so I want to make sure I get that on the book. And it seemed like a good date, so I wanted to make a motion that in December, we have our second meeting on December 27th at 6 p.m. that would include our year-end closing meeting as well. Very good. Ken? Yes. Um, no, I need a second. Oh, I, oh, I thought I would second, but I do second that. Yes, I like that. Okay, now you're... Yes. Yes. Roll call. Roll call. Uh, Tiffany, yes. 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 Anything else? I have nothing else. Anything? Motion to adjourn meeting and pay bills. I'll second. Roll call again. Yes. 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 Uh, hey, I'll send you the uh, Okay. I'll probably just go ahead and text it. Or I'll just tell them. Yeah. Here. Put in here that way, then I can just send it. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna call you. Okay. I'm not gonna make so much easier. Are we leaving this down for historical society as the chairs? They're tomorrow and then Wednesday is Yeah, Wednesday we have our yeah, we have our candidates Wednesday. So yeah, we can leave chairs set up.